Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel In the Dirt Outdoor and Gardening Tips. My name is Donnie and today I'm going to give a week 4 update of growing summer squash from seed in my earth box. And if you want to see how I'm growing summer squash from seed, check out this playlist that I made right here. And if you enjoy watching do-it-yourself outdoor and gardening videos from right here in my yard, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And please remember to drop a like if you enjoy this video as it truly helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's go check out my summer squash plant. All right, so here's my summer squash plant. As you can see, it's growing very nicely. It's gotten very big over the last four weeks. And I'm just so amazed how this plant can get so big from just a seed over four weeks. If you recall, I started out from eight seeds and then I thinned those seedlings down to these two plants. And I've even started some light pruning to get rid of some of the damaged leaves. If we go in a little closer, you can see that there are some flowers starting to show up right here. These actually started showing up in week three. So I'm super excited about those growing. These look like they're gonna be some male flowers right there. And we still have some pollinators around here, which is very fortunate. So hopefully when these flowers start blooming, the bees will come over here and start pollinating. If not, I'll have to pollinate by hand. And I'm probably going to pollinate by hand anyways, just to make sure that the female flowers get pollinated. So I got to say I'm pretty impressed with the earth box so far. Obviously, I'm not going to be super happy until I start harvesting summer squash, but so far so good. We had kind of a heat wave here last week where the temperature was above 100 degrees for about five days last week. And right now these plants are taking in a lot of water. I have to say they're taking about one to two gallons of water per day. So even though I have a drip system running into the water fill tube, it's not enough water. So I actually need to manually water every few days. And I think right now it's about one and a half gallons of water per day. And it could just be because of the hot weather, but it's also because these plants are getting really big. So far I've been pretty fortunate. I haven't had to deal with any powdery mildew yet. I have been spraying the leaves to get rid of any insects using this insect killing soap, which is safe for the plant and safe for the environment. Once the bees start coming in though, I'm gonna have to be real careful about using this. All right, so that's my week four update. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.